You are looking at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. Welcome back to Las Vegas. You know, this place has all of a sudden become like the second home for the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Well, this coming Saturday, it will be at the center of the boxing universe. Live look now inside the Hollywood Theater here at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino. It is day three of the Mayweather versus Maidana fight week. Hello everyone, I'm Brian Custer for Show Sports Press Pass Live. Of course, we are your exclusive access to the Maidana versus Mayweather undercar press conference, which is getting ready to start in just a few moments. You know, it seems like we've spoken ad nauseum about how big the Mayweather versus Maidana fight is, one of the reasons why it's been dubbed the moment. But let's not forget about the undercard that supports the main event, arguably one of the best pay-per-view cards ever assembled. In the co-main main feature, you got Amir Khan stepping into the ring against Luis Callazo, which should be a great stylistic fight with both of those guys. Also, you've got Adrian the Problem Broner. He gets back into the ring for the first time after suffering that loss to Marcos Maidana. He's got Carlos Molina. And then rounding out the card, you've got the undefeated Jay Leon Love in a fight against Marco Antonio Parabon. Now, when we talk about the co-main feature, Amir Khan stepping into the ring against Luis Callazo, you got Amir Khan stepping up to welterweight to fight Callazo. It is going to be a very interesting fight. Our Al Bernstein gives us the keys to victory for both guys. The 32-year-old Luis Collazo has used his lefty style to bedevil a number of top welterweights. Against Amir Khan, this is what he'll have to do. Khan starts fast in every fight. Collazo has to simply get through it. Luis is a clever fighter who can use Khan's aggression against him. Collazo generates big power in the right hook. We know Khan can be hurt. Victor Ortiz let his left hand slip down, which gave Collazo a chance to land the right. This was the beginning of the end for Ortiz, and if Khan does the same, he may get jolted just like this. Even with a fine 28-3 record, Amir Khan's career inside the ring's been like a roller coaster. He's been working with trainer Virgil Hunter to smooth out the ride. Khan's right hand is quick and powerful. He'll need that punch in this match. To avoid Colazzo's right hook, keep the left high. Khan gets in trouble when he engages too long and trades big punches. Here, Khan will attack with a left hook and then a right hand. This two-punch combination brought Khan some rewards, and after Carlos Molina missed with the right hand, Khan gets out of harm's way to reset and launch his next attack without trading power punches. He hopes this maneuver helps him avoid taking a big power punch. All right, Al, thank you very much. Again, we're here waiting for these undercar press conference. Getting ready to start in just a few moments. And, of course, that co-main feature will be one that a lot of people will be watching besides the Mayweather versus Maidana fight. Another one that a lot of people will have their eyes on is the Adrian Broner against Carlos Molina. You know, when you look back at Adrian Broner when he fought Marcos Maidana, he was such the favorite. And the way he lost, a lot of people wanted to know, what is Broner's state of mind, especially entering the ring coming this coming Saturday? Well, here's Adrian Broner in his own words. I always leave my all inside the ring. Sometimes the night of the fight, you do not be 100%. And that was not my all that night. He's her bad guy. Hey, Donna, he can hit. What can I say? He got the God given power. And he landed that shot. My plan was to catch him or move. And he just stood right in front of him, thinking that he can take Madonna's shot. Oh, and the lefts and rights by Madonna! He stuck to his game plan with that wild that I should never got hit with. Three punch combination! He hurt Madonna in the later rounds. Then he got relaxed again and got caught in the eighth round. Oh. He was the better man that night. But even after the loss, I'm still the same, maybe. We move forward. At the end of the day, we still got a hell of a check. We still fresh, fly, flashy, young, famous, and rich. I'm a little different. Instead of brushing my hair, I comb my, my beard now. We combing the beard, that's the new trend. The loss helped me out because a lot of people didn't come around as much. 
talking about, oh, I was giving you my space. But when you want to party, you make sure your ass around. When you want a new alpha, you make sure your ass around. And you can't take time out your day to call me like, how you doing? Is you all right? Is your fractured jaw healed up? So it was umbilical cord time. I had to cut him off. It's time to get back to what got me the name of Adrian Brown. I'm in a must-win situation because shit, I'm a winner. I don't like losing. I'm going to make an example out of whoever I fight. I can fight Joe Blow. Joe Blow going down. I'm still Adrian the problem, bro. We're going to show him why I'm a three-time world champion. And I will be a four-time world champion before 24 in four different weight classes. <laughs> Of course, all eyes will be on Adrian Broner and Penny. You want to know, is he just flash? Is he substance? We'll find out on Saturday. As you can see, all the fighters are here. They're on the dais. Let's get this press conference started. I'm going to turn things over to the CEO of Golden Boy. Here's Richard Schaefer. Thank you, Chris. Uh, so we're live on Showtime and ready to go here for the press conference of, uh, I can't really say the undercard because it really isn't an undercard. It really is an, uh, an accumulation of uh, three uh, main events uh, underneath uh, the Super Bowl of Boxing, Mayweather and Maidana. Each one of those uh, uh, TV fights certainly could get its own TV platform, its own venue, and would be a main event uh, in, in many, many uh, boxing programs. But before I'm going to uh, start talking a little bit more about that and introduce some of the people up here, I'm going to have to say one thing. Uh, we all know that Leonard Ellerby is always like the sharpest dresser uh, in the room. Uh, like fight after fight, time after time, but yesterday uh, he got outdressed by uh, Marcos Maidana, if outdressed is the correct word, and today he's being outdressed again by Amir Khan. Leonard, what the hell is going on? I don't know. It must be the moment. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic card, and I want to acknowledge uh, uh, Robert Bennett, the executive director, the new executive director from the Nevada State Athletic Commission. It's going to be a pleasure for me to work with him for hopefully many, many years uh, to come. Uh, we always feel very comfortable here in Las Vegas. It is the fight capital of the world. And I think it's uh, something special for all of these fighters here to be fighting under the bright lights uh, of Las Vegas. It really is an entertainer's dream to sing and perform uh, in Las Vegas, and I think it's a fighter's dream to perform here and box uh, in Las Vegas. And of course, when you say boxing in Las Vegas, the MGM uh, is the place to be. It is the, the headquarters of boxing uh, worldwide. That's where all the big fights are happening. So we're very happy to be back here uh, at the MGM Grand with this terrific quadruple uh, header, supported by some of the young rising stars uh, from the Mayweather stable and uh, as well one of our uh, young rising stars within the Golden Boy stable, a young fighter from England, an Olympian, uh, a bronze medalist, 2012 bronze medalist. I saw him uh, fight there uh, in England winning that bronze medal and was very impressed with him not only because of his talents in the ring but as well how he carries himself outside of the ring. Uh, he is uh, the man in boxing, top to bottom, and you can start with the pound for pound king all the way down. Uh, he's the young fighter who has the most endorsement deals of any fighter from Coca-Cola to, uh, to Subway uh, to Nike. Uh, it's just a very, very impressive, and I think that tells you not only about his skills in the ring, but his skills outside of the ring as well, and that is no other than the 2012 Olympic bronze medalist, Anthony Agogo. The record of five and oh, two knockouts uh, right there. Please give it up to him. He's going to go in against somebody uh, with a bit more experience, uh, 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 John Well uh, Tapia from the Bronx in New York in an eight-rounder. So I think that's going to be a terrific and very interesting uh, matchup. But before I'm going to give it now to uh, Leonard Ellerby, I'd like to introduce to you the man who really makes this all possible, who has a deep commitment to the sport of boxing, helping us to put these great cards together. And that, of course, is the president of Showtime Sports. I know that's not really his title, but I call him the president of Showtime Sports because he really is the top guy there. And that's Steven Espinosa. Hey, uh, thank you, Richard, and thank you for the promotion. I, I appreciate that. Uh, there's one thing that we know about Floyd Mayweather events. They're massive, massive events generating more publicity, more awareness, 
more attention than any other events in the sport. That attention, that visibility that Mayweather uh, uh, events generate attracts huge numbers of casual fans and non-fans, people who don't watch you know, more than maybe one or two fights a year. Um, when we get the attention of those people, you know, the casual fans, the people who only watch one or two fights a year, it is incumbent upon us in the sport to put our best foot forward. It's our responsibility to make sure that these casual fans turn into new fans, that we are putting on the best of the best so that we guarantee a great experience for these casual fans that are coming into this event. That's what we're doing with this event with this lineup of talented fighters that are on this stage right now. This is boxing's best foot forward. The televised portion of the card, um, these three co-feature fights, include some of the best that this fight has to, this, this sport has to offer. Star fighters, compelling storylines, meaningful high stakes fights. The pay-per-view opens with Love versus Parabon, this is without question Jay Leon's toughest fight. Um, he's be going against Marco Antonio Parabon, who's a world title challenger himself. Um, this is the very definition of a 50-50 fight, and it's high stakes for both of them. We have Broner versus Molina, and Adrian has some questions that he has to answer after the setback that he suffered last December, and I'm sure he's gonna put on a show, but Molina is coming with his own statement to make as well. We have Amir Khan and Luis Colazzo. Luis, who's fought some of the best welterweights in the world, has come out on the short end of some very, very close decisions. This represents the opportunity of a lifetime. This is the very definition of a high stakes fight for him. Amir Khan, well, we know what the stakes are for him. He may be moving up into a much higher level spotlight in the fall with a win. So in short, this is not an undercard that you, if you're at home, go get your snacks on. This is not one that you stay in the pre-party for. This is an event that you show up at 6 p.m. and you sit in front of your TV or you sit in your seat for the entire event because if you don't, you'll be missing out on the best this sport has to offer. We'll see you Saturday night. Thank you. Uh, before I'm gonna turn it over to Leonard, I'd like you to uh, welcome uh, a true legend, one of the greats of the sport, who is uh, beating his own history, fight after fight, uh, is one of my closest friends in the sport as well, none other than the unified light heavyweight champion, Bernard the Alien Hopkins. Bernard. Thank you, thank you, Richard. Um, thanks, everybody. This is gonna be a great weekend coming up uh, with Floor May Money Mayweather and the Madonna, and also the undercard. It's a loaded undercard, I mean, I'm repeating with Y'all been hearing, I guess, for the last couple of weeks, but I'm glad to be a part of it and I'm glad to uh, be loyal to my team, like it should be. Thank you. Another sharp dress, sir. Oh, gee. Okay. So now I'm going to give it all, uh, over to Leonard Ellerby, who is going to introduce uh, some of the fighters from his stable, which are going to be fighting uh, here on Saturday night. Leonard. Thank you, Richard. I'll take your car key in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks again for everyone coming out. Um, just a reminder that um, the official weigh-in will be Friday. Doors open at noon, and it starts at 2 o'clock. And we have uh, Floyd wanted to do something different uh, for this particular weigh-in. We have two chains that will be performing uh, live at the weigh-in, um, which will be, it, it will be an event within an event. Um, like Richard and um, Steven said, this is a, you can't call it an undercard because these are great, great fighters. You know, each and every one of the fights, the TV fights, the, the undercard fights, it'll be an exciting card. Um, I'd like to acknowledge um, Mayweather Promotions fighters, uh, our rising stars, um, Ladarius Miller, um, he'll be fighting against uh, Richard Colas. Um, Linnell Bellows will be facing Thomas Gifford. Ashley Theophane will be fighting Angino Perez. Ronald Gavril will be fighting Terrell Hendricks. And Andrew Tabidi will be fighting John Shipman. But to get the, uh, the first televised fight on and popping, 
there would be um, a great, great fight. Um, the opening bout would be Marco Antonio um, Parabon. He'll be going up against Mayweather Promotions' own fighter, uh, Jay Leon Love. Um, Parabon is a very, very tough fighter. Um, I had a chance to watch him up close and personal um, when he fought for the title. He came up a little short. He's a tremendous fighter. He comes to bring it every time he steps in the ring. Um, so we, Jay Leon is he's going to have to step up because we know that um, Parabon is going to bring it. And um, he's looking to move from this bout on to possibly fighting for a world title again. Marco? Eh, hola, ¿qué tal a todos? Muchas gracias a las gentes todas presentes que están aquí, a la prensa. Hello to everybody. Thank you all for being here, especially the press. Quiero agradecer al Hotel MGM, a las promotoras de Golden Boy Promotions, a Mayweather Promotions por la oportunidad. I want to thank the MGM, uh, Golden Boy Promotions, Mayweather Promotions for this opportunity. Y a Showtimes también, eh, que es la donde van a televisar las peleas. Showtime also, uh, who's going to televise the event. Pues nada más para invitar a la gente y decirles que va a ser una muy buena pelea. Venimos con una excelente preparación. I just want to invite everybody to watch this fight. It's going to be a, a great show, great fights, and uh, I'm very well prepared for this fight. Vengo a dar todo arriba del ring. Es la gran oportunidad que estoy esperando nuevamente para tener la revancha contra Saki Obika por el título del mundo. And I'm going to give every, every, every ounce of me. Uh, this is the opportunity I was looking for so that I can regain an, a, a title shot again with Saki Obika, and uh, that's what I'm here for. Y puede ser que Jay Leon Love es un buen peleador, es un peleador muy fuerte, entonces sabemos cómo tenemos que trabajar arriba del ring muy fuerte para dar un buen espectáculo. And I know that Jay Leon Love is a very good fighter, he's a strong fighter, he's a very, very strong fighter, and uh, I have to give a strong, a strong performance, and that's, uh, that's the only way I can win. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Next up, um, Mayweather Promotions own um, Jay Leon Love. He's out of um, Detroit, Michigan. Um, he's 17 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Um, Jay will be looking to come and impress on Saturday night. Um, he's coming off of two terrific wins, and come Saturday night, he will make a statement. Jay. First off, I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, this is a, a crazy card to be on. You got Adrian Broner, Amir Khan, you know, uh, the rest of the Collazo. I've been watching Collazo since I was a young kid, so. Uh, not, not to make it seem older. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, you got Anthony Agogo. Um, you know, all these guys out here is, is you know, coming to put, put on a show. And I'm looking to do the same thing, um, facing Marco Parabon. I know he's tough, a rugged fighter. He's going to try to make it as rugged as possible. And, um, you know, I'm prepared for that. I had a great camp. You know, Eddie Mustafa pushed me, pushed me to the limit. You know what I mean? Let me know. You know, we, we in this to win. And so uh, I'm looking to put on a good performance and let you know that I, I am the future of the sport. And uh, I appreciate everybody for coming. Thanks. Uh, go to Golden Boy Promotions, uh, MGM Grand, Showtime. Thank everybody. Mayweather Promotions as well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving up the card now, we're coming to a very special fight. As I said before, could certainly headline uh, in any arena around the world and could be a main event in its own. Uh, it's the fight about between Carlos Molina and Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner was uh, considered as the next uh, Mayweather or the first Broner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he was uh, considered as the young rising star. And then he had, of course, as we all know, a little setback. Sometimes these setbacks happen. They happen for a reason. And I think what it does, it shows a fighter as well who are his true friends. Uh, there is always a lesson to be learned. And those people who think that uh, they can just write off Adrian Broner, they're going to be wrong because Adrian is one committed young man, young fighter, uh, and he's going to show you guys on Saturday night what's, what he's all about. But talking about committed and young fighter and hungry 
And a fighter who wants to seize the opportunity and the moment is a fighter from Norwalk, California, with a record of 17, one and one. Uh, he feels it is his time. He is gonna come here to give Broner the toughest fight and wants to give Broner his second loss. Uh, he is as motivated as you can be. Uh, he's a very talented boxer puncher and is eager to get back into the title hunt. It's a pleasure for me to introduce to you Carlos Molina. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first off, I want to thank God. Um, you know, I want to thank my manager, Frank Espinoza, um, you know, Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, and uh, Mayweather Promotions for putting on this uh, great card. Um, you know, uh, we're ready, man. Uh, come, come Saturday night, um, you know, it's pay-per-view, so, so, you know, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to go for broke on this one. You know, we're, 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 we're letting our hands fly, and, uh, you know, expect a great performance from Carlos Molina. I know I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to get uh, a lot of great fans after, after, this, uh, after this victory. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Carlos. He's a former world title holder in three weight classes. He's young, he's flashy, well-spoken, he's exciting, uh, draws huge crowds. Some love him, some hate him. Uh, and uh, he is here to start the next chapter. The next chapter of the Adrian Broner story is gonna start right here on Saturday night, Saturday night, May 3rd. He's gonna be on the card of his big brother, Floyd Mayweather, um, and uh, this is gonna be a very special moment uh, for Adrian. He's one of the most talked about fighters in boxing today, and without question as well, one of the most talented. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to introduce to you the former three weight, three weight division world champion, Adrian Broner. Um, I wanna thank God. Um, I wanna thank um, Golden Boy. Floyd Mayweather Promotions, um, and um, I'm just coming to fight. You know, um, I'm humbled. I don't trash talk no more, and you know, I'm just giving you guys what you want to see out of me. Get the hell out of here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> if y'all thought a loss was going to humble me or put me in my place, well, then y'all can just shove that right up y'all ass, man. Listen, I come to do damage, man. I'm, I'm punching with bad intentions, and um, I'm back on my A game. You know, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm thankful. I'm thankful God really slowed me down and showed me um, what He have gave to me. He can take it away at any time, and I, and I'm very thankful for that. But at the end of the day, man, we got to get back to business. I'm still that three-time world champion in three different weight classes. I'm still that same fresh, fly, flashy, young, hungry young man. And um, I kind of feel disrespected. The only, the only, the only thing that's keeping me, keeping me on top of water is I'm on my big brother undercar. Other than that, man, I'm a main event fighter. No disrespect to nobody on this car. I'm a main event fighter. Yeah, I'm a main event fighter. You could put Adrian Brown anywhere and motherfuckers don't come see me. Because this whole crowd, damn near, all these, all, they all messing. They love Adrian Brown. You know why? Because they want to see him lose. <laughs> or they want to see him win. Or they want to see me talk shit. And that's what I do. So, you know, you put Carlos Molina in front of me. That's kind of disrespectful to me. So I'm going to make an example out of this motherfucker. <laughs> he talking about something he going to go for broke. Shit. Ain't he already broke? He maintaining. <laughs> she getting the biggest payday he ever got. And he about to get his ass whooped. And that's what's about to happen. AB is still AB, about billions. I'm about to beard now. <laughs> so, so, man, I come to do damage, man. And, and really, I really ain't come to do much trash talking because he ain't said a word. He, ain't, he really ain't said a word. So, so you know, I'm going to let my hands do the talking. And um, no homo, but he getting it off the ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> I holler. Well, that wasn't a lot of trash talking, <laughs> by Broner standards. <laughs>
Well, uh, we were talking, uh, Adrian is absolutely right, as I said, that certainly could have filled up the venues anywhere, um, and it would be a main event uh, on its own. We're proud to have it here on this card, and the same can be said without any question for the next fight, which is going to be contested for the WBC silver belt um, between Louis Colasso and Amir Khan. Uh, Louis Colasso and Amir Khan, I can just see it, would have been a sold-out Barclays Center in New York. Uh, two uh, great fighters uh, with Louis Colasso, a fighter with a record of 35-5 and five with 18 knockouts from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, he is the current WBA international welterweight champion and former WBA welterweight world champion. A man with a lot of experience, a natural welterweight, a fighter who uh, wants to seize this opportunity, a fighter who has, is coming off a big win, uh, a knockout over vicious Victor Ortiz, uh, has a lot of momentum behind him, and uh, he wants to be in the hunt for these big, big mega fights uh, in the welterweight division. This one is, of course, one of them. Uh, he is going to be ready. Uh, he uh, wants to uh, test Khan, wants to win against Khan. He's been waiting for this moment, and uh, here he is. Please welcome the former WBA welterweight world champion, Louis Colasso. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for this opportunity. Um, just blessed to be here. You know, such a co-main event on our main card, Mayweather and Madonna. You know, um, this is like the highest of the high for a boxer and I'm just humbled by this opportunity. I just want to give thanks to everyone that had a, a part to do with this, uh, Showtime, Golden Boy, my team, my trainers, Norman Lorick, Willie Vargas, my manager, Wilson Naranjo, my family that's here. Um, it's just been a tremendous ride, man. Just blessed to be here and just soaking this moment in, on the moment, May 3rd. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Heyman for giving me an opportunity as well. Being part of the stable mate, I make them proud as well because, you know, back then I was on the other side, but this time I'm on this side. So it's good. It's a blessing. And um, me and Khan, woof. Welcome to the welterweight division. We're here. Um, once that bell rings, you're going to see me. You ain't going to see nobody else but the best real Lewis Colossus you've ever seen. Not the past, the one that fought Ricky Hatton, Birdo, Shane Mosley, you know, none of 2014, the 33-year-old, like Love said, the old school. But, you know, it's a blessing, man. Just, I'm grateful to be here. I'm going to give the fight fans what they want, some excitement. And um, tune in. If y'all can't make it out, don't miss it. It's going to be an explosive night. And... Uh, Enjoy. And uh, sorry, Mayweather promotions as well. Peace and love. God bless. Thank you. Um, first, I want to thank all the British uh, media for coming out here uh, to support this card. You guys are as passionate about the sport of boxing as your fans are. I think your fans are really almost second to none uh, when it comes to supporting boxing. I love to come to the UK. I love the UK fighters. They have a very special place in my heart and uh, uh, I, I, I just love everything about you guys and I want to acknowledge as well a very good friend of mine who's uh, here from London as well who owns a restaurant, the famous St. Moritz restaurant, Armin Lurcher and it's his birthday today so give it up for Armin. There he is. <laughs> um, now let's talk about Amir Khan. You know the amazing thing is if you look at who he fought, Barrera, Maidana, Malinaji, Chuda, Peterson, all those guys, and he's only 27 years young. I mean, that's amazing what he has accomplished in that young career. And uh, he's considered as a veteran, and I think in a way he is, but if you look at his age and his accomplishments, it's just absolutely amazing. What he is, he's one of the most exciting fighters in the sport of boxing as well always gives it his best, often like makes me and his dad sweat there on the first row, bullets, uh, because he's almost too brave for his own good. Uh, always comes to fight, always goes toe to toe. You will never see a boring Amir Khan fight. 
And now he made the decision to move to 147 after having spent his entire career at 140. I think it's a wise move. He carries the weight very well. And in typical Khan fashion, he didn't just handpick an opponent. He went against, he picked somebody, a true welterweight, a bigger man, a natural welterweight, a former world champion with a lot of experience. That's who Khan wanted. Because Khan didn't just want to go to the welterweight division and have a win. Khan wanted to go to the welterweight division and make a statement. It is a pleasure now for, you, for me to introduce to you my friend, former unified super lightweight world champion, Amir King Khan. Hi, everyone. I um, just want to thank the UK uh, media for turning up here, also the US media. Um, you know, Golden Boy, Showtime, um, my advisor, Al Heyman. I uh, just want to thank them all, you know, for making this happen. I mean, it's a great event. You've got, I mean, every fight here could be a main event. You know, myself with Colazzo, you've got Brona, Goje Leon. I mean, there's, there's a lot of great fighters here. And then you've got May with us, topping the bill, you know. So I'm excited to put a great show on here. I um, also want to thank all the fans who have come from the UK, you know, the Khan's Army and everyone, because there's everywhere I go, you know, I see so many UK fans. So I just want to say thank you. Um, training camp's gone really well. We've been working very hard uh, on, 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 you know, what we have to do on Saturday night. Even though I've not been in the ring for the last 12 months, you know, we've been in the gym for the last eight months. And we've been working on strategies and training camps. We've had great training camps. And I want to thank my um, strength and conditioner, Tony Brady, for you know, making me get stronger at this 147 weight. You know, I've not ate my way up to this weight. I've trained my way up to this weight. And um, also Virgil Hunter, you know, we've fixed a lot of things up on the training side, you know, with the footwork, the movement and everything. So the, you'll definitely see a different Amir Khan come into this fight. You know, uh, the excitement's always going to be there with the hand speed movement and everything and the power. But there, there's a lot of new things that you guys have not seen. Um, I'm excited. I want to thank Colazzo and his team for taking this fight. And um, you know, I just want to put a great performance on and hope we give the fans what they want. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amir. Uh, this card, the moment, is really about moments. Who will capture the moment? But there's so many storylines here with these young fighters uh, up here on the dais and, of course, the main event with Maidana and with Mayweather. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow at the weigh-in. Uh, it's going to be a spectacular affair, open to the public for free. One of the biggest st music stars, as Leonard said, 2 Chain is going to be performing live. Uh, and uh, we have the venue set up for the entire venue, for the, for the entire arena. So we ant anticipate uh, five, six, seven, eight, ten thousand people there at the weigh-in. We will have many of the world champions there as well. It will be a huge show, a huge event, and I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you very much. We're going to post the fighters now and have them available for interviews. Thanks. All right. All right, there you have it as this press conference comes to an end. And, you know, this is really, and it's not hyperbole to say this, probably one of the strongest pay-per-view cards ever assembled. When you look at the number of fighters and high-profile fighters that make up the undercard, you know, the Amir Khan, Luis Cleazo fight, that could be a main event fight on any championship boxing card. Uh, Adrian Broner getting back into the ring against Carlos Molina. Uh, there are just a number, undefeated Jay Leon Love, a top prospect now, getting up, facing Marco Antonio Parabon. You know, for Parabon, this is a huge fight for him. He wants to fight for the title again, as he talked about it, face Saki Obika. Again, he's got to get through Jay Leon Love, and a win for Love would skyrocket him. You heard Adrian Broner uh, talk about the big fight for him. As you can see, Khan here and Callazo face off. And the intensity in Callazo's eyes as he and Khan face off. Famir Khan stepping up to the welterweight division here. It's going to be an interesting fight for him. And you can see Adrian Broner getting ready to come to the stage now as he gets ready to face off against Carlos Molina. And boy, stakes are high for Adrian Broner coming off that loss to Marcos Maidana. He cannot afford another loss. Carlos Molina is a tough guy. Just one loss on his record. 
He's already said he thinks that Adrian Broner is overlooking him. And let's watch these guys as they stare off and face off. Molina has talked in our fighter meeting about how he felt like Broner is doing the mind games, trying to talk him out of his game. He said he was going to let his fists do the talking come Saturday night. And then Jay Leon Love here. Here's Marco Antonio Parabon. Big fight for both guys. For Jay Leon Love, this will catapult him in that middleweight division. For Parabon, he needs a win like this, especially if he wants another crack at a title fight in Saki Obika. And you're going to see all three fighters now. They're getting ready to take some more pictures. Broner with the beard knows he has to shave that come Saturday night. And this just goes to the star power of this undercard when you look at the number of high profile fighters that make up, and this is the undercard. And of course, the capper is Mayweather versus Maidana. Again, it comes your way, Cinco de Mayo weekend. This will be the fifth time that Floyd Mayweather is Headline such a big card on that Cinco de Mayo weekend. And you get a lot of diverse fight fans that will be in attendance for this. Not only with Amir Khan bringing the British boxing fans, you heard Richard Schaefer allude to that. A lot of Latino fans will be here because of Maidana. Uh, so it'll be in a very diverse crowd here for this undercard and for this entire event just goes to show how diverse this sport is. Now you're going to hear in just a few moments, we're going to talk with Adrian Broner. We're going to talk with Amir Khan. We're going to talk with Luis Clayazo. We're going to talk with all of these guys because they've got some, some huge, huge fights here. Uh, let's start it off with the guy who was a champion in three weight divisions. Oh, yeah. He's now got a beard. Kind of look a little bit like Rick Ross <laughs> these days with the beard. That's my homie, man. Shout out MMG. Yeah. No, wait a minute. How can Adrian Broner be disrespected? Um, I thought I'd never hear that. I mean, you know, um, it's levels to this shit. Like my man Meek said, man, you know, and I just feel like I was disrespected. They putting this this guy in the ring with me, he, and, and he's really coming up to the fight like he like he's supposed to be a threat. And he talked about this in the fight. He thinks that you've really overlooked him. Oh no, nah, we don't overlook him. We overlook him because he's shorter than me. That's the only reason I, well, I overlook him. But other than that, you know, um. I respect any boxer. I don't overlook nobody. I, I go and train for any for any opponent like it's my last opponent. When you look back on that Marcos Maidana <laughs> fight, was there one thing that you said, you know what, I can't do that this time around and then this fight? Well, um, I don't I don't look back. We look forward. And um, even after the fight, I'm still running to the bank, baby. <laughs> last but not least, have you even thought about I can't I can't lose again? It's just out of the question. A losing is out of the question, man. Come on, man. You know, I, I gave the people what they wanted to see once, and that's a bad performance from Adrian Brunner. I can't be good-hearted and give it to you twice, baby. Last but not least, what will we see then Saturday? Oh, man, you're going to see that same young, fresh, fly, flashy fighter from Cincinnati, Ohio, who ain't never had nothing, and I'm going in to get mine. I got to go get mine. Adrian Broner, thank you very much. Thank Best you. of luck to you Saturday. All right, joining me now, uh, the very well-dressed, may I add, uh -huh. Amir Khan, um, stepping up to welterweight. Yeah. Uh, Luis Collazo basically said, hey, look, welcome to the division. I'm going to yeah. welcome you, in his opinion, with a loss. Just give me your thoughts on what we should expect Saturday. Well, it's going to be a great event, first of all. You know, it's great to be part of this huge event at the moment, Floyd Mayweather versus Maidana. Um, I'm the chief support, and I'm going to be fighting Luis Colazo. Colazo going to come to fight. 
I mean, he thinks he's uh, he's uh, turned his career around after that great win against Victor Ortiz, knocking him out in the second round. He thinks he can do the same with me. I'm not Victor Ortiz. I'm a total different fighter. Now, you know, time will tell. I'm going to put a great performance on. I'll be working very hard. And I'm just hungry to get in the ring and win that fight. You know, there's the WBC title on the line. So I want to win that. And it's only going to get me a step close to where I need to be in the, in, in the future, you know. But yeah, I'm not taking this fight lightly. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight. Uh, he looks ready. I'm ready. I've had a great camp. I've had a great. I've I worked great with my trainer Virgil Hunter and Tony Brady. I'm going to be strong, and I want to show the crowd you know, what they missed for the last year. You know, he thought that Victor Ortiz overlooked him, and in his mind, he thinks that you've overlooked him because he said, "Hey, look, he was so focused on fighting Floyd Mayweather that it was like, okay, well, I'll fight Luis Callazo," and that he thinks that's maybe your mindset going into Saturday. No, well, he's wrong there because my whole focus has been on Luis Calazo. Um, and the Floyd thing fell through. Look, that's just that's boxing for you. That happens in boxing. But I'm 100% focused on what I need to do. And what I need to do is win this fight to be where I need to be. And Luis Calazo stands in front of me. So I need to... No. Cosmic fights. This... I believe that this, uh, this fight could steal the show on the night. And think... you think the winner should fight Floyd? Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, look... Um, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the fans say who they want Floyd to fight. You know, with, with, with the style I have, definitely. I think um, they'll definitely want the Floyd fight for that. And of course, his opponent is Luis Callazo. As you can see him here uh, looking at the belt, and he's getting ready to join us here in just a few moments. And let's bring Luis in here. Here he is. All right. You, told, you said it in the press conference, hey, welcome to the welterweight division. What should we expect Saturday? Fireworks. Um, the fight fans are going to get excitement. A great fight. Uh, you know, Khan is a, a boxer. I'm a boxer slugger, however you want to call it. But it's going to be an explosive fight, and I'm just grateful to be here and just humbled by it. You know, he had thought for a long time he was going to fight Floyd. Do you think he's overlooked you at all going into this fight? Probably did. But uh, I know once that bell rings, he's going to see me, the real Luis Colazo. And considering you knocked out Victor Ortiz, I think a lot of fight fans are thinking we'll probably see that again Saturday night. Is that what you're, you're – when you lay down to sleep at night, do you say, I'm going to knock this guy out just like I did Victor Ortiz? No. Uh, what I say, I'm going to give the fight fans what they want. Uh, exciting night of boxing. And uh, to be on the card of uh, Floyd and uh, Madonna, it's just a blessing for me being from New York, from being from Brooklyn. It's an honor. It's almost like a rebirth of your career. So best of luck to you Saturday. Thank you. Luis Galeazzo, of course, he'll be taking on Amir Khan. And, folks, it will be a great night of fighting that comes your way on Saturday. Now, of course, our coverage for Floyd versus Marcos Maidana, it continues. And it all begins again on Friday. Friday night, don't miss Way In Live. It comes your way, Mayweather versus Maidana, and it comes your way over on Showtime, 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific. Of course, all the fighters will be weighing in. You heard Leonard Elvey say two chains is going to perform their live, so it's going to be quite an event. And then immediately after the weigh-in, catch a very special all-access live show. It will feature a Q&A with Floyd Mayweather and Marcos Maidana face to face that you do not want to miss that q a marcos maidana against floyd mayweather and then on saturday join us for mayweather versus maidana it's the big fight it's the fight that everyone has been talking about countdown live will start things off that comes your way at eight o'clock five o'clock pacific time you don't want to miss that because our showtime pay-per-view team they will have some exclusive interviews. They're going to have features on all the fighters. That, of course, Countdown Live comes your way at 8 o'clock. And then after that, it is the fight. It comes your way 9 o'clock Eastern time. Comes your way 6 o'clock Pacific. It is the main event. It's what you've been waiting for. Mayweather versus Maidana in the main event. The co-feature, Amir Khan, Luis Callazo, Adrian Broner versus Carlos Molina. You don't want to miss that Jay Leon Love against Marco Antonio Parabon. All of that Saturday night. And then immediately after the fight, don't forget, we have a post-fight wrap-up show. Comes your way on the CBS Sports Network. We'll take the press conference with all the fighters responding after the big night. Of course, they're dubbed this the moment. So that's it. Make sure you, if you want to get in on the conversation, you can get on social media. Just use the hashtag 
the moment. And for all of the latest updates on different fights and events that we have coming up this spring, this summer, make sure you go to our website and you can do that at show.com backslash sports. Well, that's it here for this press conference. It's been another great day. I'm Brian Custer. Thanks for watching Show Sports Press Pass Live. the course of history. Goes down for the, first the brute time. force of Marcos Maidana has upset some of boxing's best. Can one punch dethrone the pound-for-pound -pound king, Floyd Mayweather? 45 have tried, 45 have failed. Where will you be when the moment happens? The moment. Floyd Mayweather versus Marcos Maidana, plus Amir Khan versus Luis Colasso, and Adrian Broner versus Carlos Molina, Saturday, May 3rd, live on Pay-Per-View. The moment is coming when pound for pound champ Floyd Mayweather will put it all on the line against power puncher Marcos Maidana and Showtime brings you exclusive access to Fight Week. Tomorrow get a front row seat to the official weigh-in including superstars Floyd Mayweather, Marcos Maidana, Amir Khan and Adrian Broner. Then stay tuned for a special all access live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Join our broadcast team for an unprecedented live face to face Q&A session with Mayweather and Maidana plus all the Fight Week drama. And on Saturday, our broadcast team counts down to Mayweather versus Maidana live from Las Vegas with an hour of exclusive interviews, features, and breaking news. Don't miss the Mayweather versus Maidana live block tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, and Mayweather versus Maidana countdown live Saturday at 8 Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, only on Showtime. The talented Adrian Broner is always looking to put on a show. For Carlos Molina, the biggest fight of his life. Tell me what you got, you a pow pow, chuck a knot, take it up a notch, oh my god, wow, take him out, let me take a shot. You gotta let your hands go, you gotta take the knife. Show me what it is, show me what it is, show me what it is. Amir Khan has a penchant for throwing the game plan out the window and wanting to give the fans a fight. Louis Colazzo is one tough customer. He's doing what you're doing. He's already quitting his mind. Get ready for the MGM Grand to erupt. Floyd Mayweather, a perfectionist in the ring. Marcos Maidana, will he be the first to knock out Mayweather? My life been one big fight. It's just another day. I got my boots laced. And I'm well trained, knocking out haters, saying, look at what you made me do. When you slow down, we gonna pick the pace up. Have your fun. I feel like Floyd Money Mayweather. Don't you see who I got in my corner? That's why I'm in the ring, doing what I wanna. No matter what fears you hold, no matter what darkness you hide.